Well, we are starting the Ben Baldwin Forest Loop here. It's about uh, four and a half miles and just shy of 600 feet of elevation throughout. I'll put the uh, info up here and uh, should be a nice, nice uh, hike. Well, we've been walking here for a little bit on this uh, gravel road. We've uh, been balding. I believe it's a mountain right over here to the left. There's a lot of sheep on the outside there. Really a uh, smooth hike so far. It is really breezy. So hopefully the audio comes through here. Well, we are coming back into the woods here. The uh, mountain over here to our right with the sheep. It's, it looks like a pretty well-worn trail here. We've come out below the edge of the mountain here. There are uh, the sheep here. A lot closer to the trail than they were up on the other side. They look like they're happily eating. Well, we've come out on the other side of the trail. There's some sheep eating very closely to the edge here. You can see the sea in the background. Good view of the mountain and uh, the sea with some smaller towns too in the distance. Well, we're coming around the back side of this loop. There's some pasture to the right, but you really can't see the sheep out through it because it's just too overgrown. We're going down a little elevation here. Well, that pretty much wraps this hike up. I think it's gonna be about three and a half miles in the end. It, uh, didn't show the proper mileage but overall like I said it was a really relatively easy hike with elevation and distance and um, really good trail footing so we're about back to the car park there are other car parks around at least one other one on the uh, bottom end of the hill here so if this one's full, you could go down there. But I'll list the ending distance and the elevation. Thanks for watching, and if you want to leave in the comments section um, other trails or other uh, good areas to visit, we'd appreciate it. But thanks for watching.